God bless everybody. Um, God bless you, princess. God bless you. Let me know where you're at. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Say something to me, please. Can you talk to me? What's up, Chawanda? God bless you. Um, light, love, and life, as always. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from or where you're coming from. Um, I want to talk to you. Uh, hello, Mariana. Hello, Sabrina. Hello. God bless you. I'm so glad to see y'all there. And you can interact with me. And I want y'all to interact with me. Talk to me, okay? Talk to the woman. Talk to the woman of God, all right? So I want y'all to do that today. And I'll give you all enough time, um, actually, to uh, more people to get in and, um, and stuff like that. I want y'all to know I am approachable. You know what I'm saying? You can talk to me. You can reach out. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. <laughs> Make this world a better place. Oh, Jersey, what it do, baby? Well, you know what? All right, so, oh, hey, Arj. I love you, Aunt Arj. Um, listen to me. Okay, so, Sabrina, you from Jersey? Okay, that's my hometown. You know what I mean? Them, those bricks. Hello, Shamika Rios. Hello, how are you? God bless you. What state, y'all? What, what state are you people from? What state? What's up? Oh, Dominican Republic in the house. Jersey over here. Dominican Republic. Gotta get to, I gotta get to Dominican to go give me some hair, baby. <laughs> go give me some of that Dominican hair. So, um, I'm very well. I'm very well. I'm fine. I'm very blessed. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay, so from New York. Okay. <laughs> oh, I always got gray hair. Well, you know, the reason why my hair always looks people people always say, I don't I, I first of all, thank you. Thank you for um saying um I have gray hair. A lot of people are like, who do your hair? Who does your hair? Who does your hair? First of all, uh, I I have to have the the, the anointing to do my own hair because I, you know, like times like this, I feel sorry for a lot of people because they looking jacked up right now. You know what I'm saying? So when they man get in, when they when they husband, let me when they husband get, they be like, babe, what's wrong with your head? And, mm -hmm. But ain't not with me. Ain't not gonna be wrong with my head. <laughs> uh, all right. So um, I want to talk to you all about a couple of things today, and I'm going to start in just about one minute. As you all come in, please keep dropping your names. Drop your names like it's hot. Drop your names like it's hot, okay? Um, I'm very excited, and I'm very happy to be able to interact with you all today and talk to you all today and say something to you all um, this afternoon. I I'm so blessed. Um it, it, speaking to you all and ministering to you all at the capacity to which I do is the greatest gift um, besides that of a woman having a husband. Um, I think that the, the two most fulfilling things. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Deja. You're gorgeous, too. Thank you so much. Um, I think that one of the most um, blessed, blessed uh, things that or, or one of the greatest blessings, I should say one of the greatest blessings for my life as a a woman and as a woman of God is the fact that I'm able to minister um, effectively and communicate effectively for for God, for God, my father, uh, with the layer of the anointing and the oil that he has placed on my life. That's one thing. And I think that the greatest, the next greatest gift um, that a woman can have is also being connected to or joined to um, a man of God that she loves wholeheartedly um, and that she wants to spend the rest of her life with. She spends the rest of her life with him. So, and then the next thing is children. And then the next thing is education. And then the next thing is uh, passions and zeals. And we could go into all of that. But there's uh, pretty much a, a list of things that makes a woman happy once she 
she becomes a woman and there is no greater gift uh, than to be able to facilitate the office and the call that is on my life to be able to minister to you all effectively and speak to you and give you um, encouragements and words of encouragement. I want you to know right now uh, the, the title of the message is, it's your time already. It's your time already. It's your time already. There is a there are different types of times and different types of seasons. It's not your time to die. Nah, nah. You you're not gonna die. It's not your time to die. It's not your time to give up. It's not your time to throw in the towel. It's your time to start again and have a fresh start and receive everything that God has for you and do the thing. L live this life. And use your time that God has given you and occupy that time as if time is gold. I, I don't know. Whatever, whatever. Just time. I mean, it, it, it's just such a blessing to be able to have time. To have so much time. Every day that we wake up in our lives, we are blessed to have a certain um, number of hours on the clock or a certain amount of time to do what it is that we want to do in that 24 hour time period. Um, and it is just a blessing to be able to do that and th to do that. And, oh, what's up? What's up? What's up, Tiff? What's up, Tiff? What's up? Oh, God bless you, Thomas. I always got to address my baby Tiffany because my baby Tiffany, she done been, she done been following me through, through it all, through it all. Yeah, yeah. I learned to trust in Jesus. Hey, I learned to trust in God. Tiffany, been there. Through it all. Hey, hey, yeah, baby. Through it all. Yeah, you've been there, Tiff. So that's why I got to address her. Um, but we got time. And so uh, I want to actually come on and talk to you all about um, certain things today. The first thing I want to talk to you all about um, is the fact that... Uh, God bless you, Thomas. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Um, I want to I want to let you know that in this time and in this season, first of all, we already know it's your time. I'm about to get into that according to the word of the Lord. But let me give you some um, instructions and some directions. Um, the first thing you need to do in order to be a high class woman or a high class man of God, sophisticated to say the least, is the first thing you need to do is you need, thank you so much, y'all. I'll sing a little later. The first thing you need to do is go register to vote. Um, I want you all to start registering to vote. Um, if anything is open to you right now, God bless you, babe. Oh, <laughs> Oh my God, I'm sorry. Oh my Jesus. Lord Jesus, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, sorry, y'all. Um, Jesus, I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. Um, ooh, oh my God. Uh, sorry, y'all. But the first thing I want you all to uh, do is, um, Jesus, God, Jesus, how do you do that? Um, the first thing that we all, I want you all to do, sorry for the, for the, the side note, I want you all to register to vote. Now, the reason I want you to to take advantage of the fact I'm not on here to promote political parties and so forth and so on, but I want you, I, I, I motion you, and I urge you all to go out, everybody who follows me, and I want you to do this um, by let's let's try. If, okay, if if America opens back up um, around June. You always vote, Monica. Okay, um, that's good. I'm glad that you vote. Uh, I want everybody to vote, and and I think that of course I don't know every see everybody's in different states right now, and uh, we're we're facing different situations with um, limitations and restrictions at, as it pertains to being able to come and go. But I want to put this in your head right now. Um, that you need to register to vote. Not only do you need to register to vote, you need to promote the fact that you have registered to vote. If you follow me and if you respect me and the anointing on my life, and if you think if you think that I'm a credible woman of God, I want you all, hello, hey, somebody gave me a hey with a, uh, a kissy, hello. Uh, I think that was Tiff, but hello. Um, I want you all to act after you go um, register to vote whenever America opens back up again, which I'm thinking it's going to be around June 17th for most people. Um, besides the people, you know, some some states got issues. Some some states got got real issues. 
Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm so glad you think I, I'm glad you see that I'm credible because, uh, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of women and they say one thing, they do another. But I try to be as real with you guys as I can be with you. And uh, anything that I do and anything that I say. Oh, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh, oh, so she, oh, so she, Mika, you on that, right? Oh, oh, but you on that, but, but check, but, but check this out right here. The thing I'm about to get into that. There is, a, listen, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. See, that's going to be a prop. Thank you. I try to be transparent. I try to be transparent. Um, and I try to be transparent because I want you all to know that although I'm anointed and although I'm called and I'm chosen, um, I still have my, my fun girl. I'm, I'm just, I'm just this, this girl, all right? Um, this Jersey girl that I am. And I think that, uh, when you're from Jersey, there's just, there's just this certain type of a, um, nature that you have, an upbringing that you have, and that Jersey stands out. It's just like if you meet a girl, she's from New York, you meet a girl, she's from California, Florida, um, Bahamas, like you said, Dominican, different women, um, have different personalities based on where they, they're from. And so I'm that Jersey chick for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Jersey baby. So, um, but let me get back and not get distracted, okay? Jesus. Mm -hmm. I want you to, I want to say this to you. You have to get to a place where you are voting and where you are registering to vote, where you are registering to vote. So I use all of my influence and all of who I am as a woman of God for this second to tell you, I want you to register to vote. After you register to vote, I want you to post pictures and post the proof. Oh, I registered to vote. I registered to vote. Okay. Um, and I want you to do that because it's, it's about time that a lot of you women that follow me and a lot of young girls that follow me, that you step up into a different echelon of life. And, um, it's not, the, it's not the first time that I've ever really cared about politics and policy and so forth and so on, but God pressed it upon my heart and he's been dealing with me so much about politics behind the scenes, but I never bring my political views to the, to the front because when you start to deal with political views and policies and so forth and so on and, and your personal beliefs and your religions and you don't, you can't separate church and state, uh, then problems come in. And so, um, it's none of our business who you vote for. It's just the simple fact that people died. Our some of our ancestors, they died and they died, um, with hopes and wishes that we as an African American community would be able to vote and that we would be able to have voices be heard, whether those voices were as, 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 as quiet as a whisper or as loud as a horn, we are able to go and we are able to vote. So that's straight up from the gate up. You, you about, you about that pretty girl life. You about it. Let's get those votes up in there. Right. Um, I actually, Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, actually, this year, myself, I'm in the state of North Carolina. Um, I think that I'm going to volunteer um, at the polls this year. Uh, I got the paperwork to to actually um, to volunteer um, here. So I want to volunteer and I want to um, really get out and 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 start to to, to deal with. Um, I just want to be there. You know, I think that it's very important that if your state or your your um, city um, allows you or affords you the opportunity to be able to just go out and, you know, participate in that, you should do that because we need praying people at the polls and we need people there who are going to believe God and people there who are not afraid, um, you know, just to go out and um, support our 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 process of, of voting, okay? So that was one thing I wanted to say. The second thing that I wanted to say to you all is this. Um, it's very important. It's very um, uh, crucial um, that we all, that we all, um, I plan on getting married real soon. I don't know how soon, but I know I'm going to be getting married soon. So I want to be in a certain size, a certain body weight. I don't want to be big and all that kind of stuff like that. And I don't want to be big with my man, period, whether we at the altar or not. But I think that it's very important that we all start to eat healthy. Um, I want for you to start to, I want you to start disciplining yourself and finding things that are healthy and finding things that are new, that's, that's new. Okay. 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 Oh, 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 oh. And, and you can go online. 
Well, in Jersey, you can. You go online and you can register to vote. Excuse me one minute. Joseph is not here. Okay. So, um, you can start eating healthy, okay? Eat healthy. I want you all to start eating what is right. The reason why I want you to start eating what is right is because we are all quarantined. And if you start eating things that clog your arteries and mess with your 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 heart and your good cholesterol and your bad cholesterol and you be drinking all these sodas and everything like that, you never try anything with protein, you never try any salads, you never try anything like that, then before you know it, you, you, that's right, plant-based. Well, plant-based. Um, you need to start eating right. I want to I want to lead a group of women that are able to eat right. Okay? Um there's a lot of different things that you can eat. you can eat it is it is more expensive to eat healthy. There is organic food that you can eat. There are there are different types of um like uh you can get granola bars and stuff like that. Um you can get things like um oh, I ain't got it. I don't even know where's that. Whole wheat oatmeal, you can um do things like that. Um, thank you for the amens and stuff. Um, but I want you all to start eating healthy. Uh, so many, um, so many years ago, I, I, I literally told myself I would never drink another soda again because I wanted, I didn't want anything to start going around with my kidneys and my liver. I'm 44 years old. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have sugar diabetes. I have nothing. Um, nothing. No, no AIDS, no HIV, no, no nothing. Um, and so it's because, and it was really because of the grace of God, but it's also because I stopped eating certain things. Um, and I want you all, if you can, you know, start to drink um, things that aren't so toxic, like Pepsi and Cola. You don't want to be drinking that. Um, you know, try to drink things like natural fruit juices and stuff, okay? It's better for you like that, um, and it'll help you. It'll give you more energy. Most of the time, I don't know if you recognize or not, but after you get a high, if you get a high, that high that you get off of Pepsi, off of... Uh, Cola, uh, that's you. You get a sugar high. You get a you get you get that burst of energy. But then when that high is over, that energy is down. You're down. And I mean, if you listen, listen, Linda. When you go after forty, some of you girls are still young. But after forty, like I'm after forty, uh, you 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 begin to appreciate your energy, okay? And you thank God for your strength. And so, um, I just want you all to start. So. Meats, as far as meats is concerned, um, some not a lot of people like to eat um, fish, but I want you all to start eating fish, okay? It's really good for you. Um, it's healthy, um, and it's easy to digest, and I want you guys to, to lay up off of those burgers and so forth and so on, okay? S start to lay up off of that, and for you single mothers or for married mothers or whatever, I, I I really don't care how you mother. I just know that you need to start giving your children broccoli. You need to start giving your children corn. Although corn, you can't digest it. It's still good for you. You could give them corn. You could give them squash. You could give them um, uh, carrots. You could give them stuff that's healthy for them because we need to make sure that our immune systems and that our bodies are getting um, the 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 the, the vitamins that we need uh, to be healthy. And we have to make sure that the same thing is taking place with our kids. And so I don't want to be a doctor tonight because I'm not a doctor. I'm a woman of God and I do what I do uh, for God. I'm not here to be a doctor, but there comes a time when you, you have to just address certain issues. You have a lot of women of God um, and they never talk about this type of these type of issues. They never talk about voting. They never talk about um, eating right. They never talk about exercise. Now, okay, we all know we're quarantined right now, so we can't do a lot of um, exercising. I don't know where it's at. I really, really don't. I'm going to need that in one minute. But you can't disturb me. That's why Joseph's not here. Get out. Um, um, it's not in here. You got to get out of here. Shoot. Um, so I just want you all to start doing that. Uh, start going out. Uh, and only in your front yard. I didn't so, l l listen. You gotta be very careful what you say on social media, because people be like, "Well, the prophet has said we we should go outside." We no, no. I get fresh air. That's true. If you have to have your mask on, that's fine. But you need to you need to be mobile. You need. I mean, you need to be moving around. Move move your body. Move your body. Move your body. Move your body. Okay. And also, I would like to say, don't let the the house time, the downtime, 
um, take your energy and drain you to where you don't want to take a hot bath. You don't want to use soap. You don't want to wash your face. You don't want to do nothing but sit around and, 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 and stream on social media all day. We don't do that as excellent women of God. And we don't do that as women, period. We ought to keep, we, every day we get up, we ought to be about that life. Okay. Be a, oh my God, my baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm hurting. Oh, geez. He's trying to keep the dog in relationship. The secret is hard to keep it. Have you ever. I'm sorry, y'all. Trying to keep the secret. <laughs> trying to keep the secret. He is. Um. So I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody just sent me something. Somebody just <laughs> sent me something. I'm trying to, um, you know, uh, pay attention. I'm sorry, y'all. But when people send me stuff, sometimes it, it makes it makes me laugh. You need you need to be you need to be stopped because I don't I don't do that to you. I don't do that to you. Stop. All right. Okay. So like I'm saying. So <laughs> sorry, y'all. Please don't think nothing wrong with me. Please don't. But somebody just sent me some, and it just made me bust out, bust out laughing. All right. Um. So those are just a couple of things that I want you guys to uh really uh, focus on. All right. I want you to start um getting. You know what? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, you, you know, mm, yeah, just. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry, y'all. It ain't y'all. It's just while I'm, while I'm talking, I'm somebody sending messages up so I can send, see the messages. So, so my bad, okay? Um. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Shamil, help me, Shamil, help me a little bit, help me a little bit. Um, all right. So, like I was saying, let me stop playing, y'all. But it, laughter's laughter's good for the soul, um, and it's really, really good uh, for us that we all laugh and that we have a sense of humor too. Okay, um, but. This is us all day. That's right. um. So what I want to say to y'all for real on a, on a real note, y'all. So you have the objectives, the objectives from the intro of this video. The objectives are vote. That's number one. Eat healthy. Number two, and uh, one more thing: register to vote. Um, because a lot of people haven't. And then we're going to go into the word of God. Uh, I want to let you guys know real quick that this is um, your time and this is our time. And there are different types of time, timings and times that take place, times and seasons. But as long as the earth remains, there'll be um, certain seasons and certain times um, that come. And yeah, register to vote. Thank you for posting that. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Vote, vote. Yes, 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 babe. Yes. All my girls, ho, all my team. My my straight up team, we about that life, all right. We're about that life. We are we we are about that. Okay, so I want to promote that, and I want when you share the live stream, when you talk to your people, when you on your your page and everything, vote. We we're not you you have to start to appreciate who you are and the power you possess. Okay, and those are one of those little things that you you can do, big things that you can do, um, is to promote um voting. So let's get this campaign going, baby. We we gonna see it nice at the polls, um, one way or another. I'm I'm thinking, um, literally I'm I'm knowing that um, there is gonna be some some stuff take place uh with voting, um, and I'm not really at liberty to say the things that I know will probably um, take place with voting, but um, you need to start registering to vote right now. Like I had the information, you could go online and you could um, register to vote. And if you could go online for your um, for, the, for the state that you live in, the city that you live in, you need to do that. You need to go on to register to vote so so that you'll be able to um, have your, your, your um, self added to the number, okay? Um, 
but let's talk about um timing real quick um and i only got a few minutes um like i got like i guess i got like 15 minutes with you guys like uh 15 minutes okay um to everything there's a time and a season and i don't want to go into the book of ecclesiastes right now um but i just want to let you know that the Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That was a previous stage in time of your life. The weeping is over. Now it's time to rejoice. It's time to dance. It's time to, to celebrate. It's time to be happy. And and if you don't embrace that, and if you don't accept that, you'll, you'll play around with the lingo of your past. It's not about your past. This is about your now. God has literally, literally brought you to this place. Although we're in quarantine. All right, cool. It's still our time, not our time to die. Not our time to be depressed, not our time to be oppressed, but our time to embrace love, relationship, God, the anointing, the Bible, uh, uh, healthy food, healthy food, um, and just, just embrace the time, the time, good times and good seasons. Yes, we are actually on quarantine, but during this time, I want you all to do something just a minute. I want you all to do something like start just barbecuing outside. Okay. Like you can go outside and you could grill, you could turn the grill on, burn it up. You know what I mean? And just don't let this time of isolation, this time of being in the house, get you down and make you think that it's not your time. And that is what I want to come on here and say. Um, there is so much more that I wanted to say to you guys, but I'm on a time restriction constriction because I got to be on another live stream. Um, but I want to come back on, I'm going to tell you what time I'm going to come back on and we're going to talk about the oil and that, um, uh, in the next live stream, I'll be back on at like, I guess, is this like seven, eight? I guess I'll be back on like nine o'clock. It might be a little late, but I'm going to be back on at nine o'clock. And then at that time, that's when I'm going to go into the word of God and I'm going to preach it up for y'all. And I'm going to deliver the word of God with, uh, some strategic, um, harmonies and melodies and things to make you guys really think, um, because, uh, you're, you have to, you have to be anointed. You have to be anointed. You have to be anointed for this season. So I want to talk to y'all about that. Um, so meet me back here at like nine o'clock tonight, nine o'clock. Y'all be by the computers, be by your computers. You'll get the alert when I'm on. We're going to go live tonight, but for right now, I do have to sign off because I have to be somewhere. Um, but I love you all so much. So remember, and I promise y'all, I'm not going to let you down when I said I'm going to be here at nine o'clock. I'm going to be here at nine o'clock. Okay. All right. So I love you all so much. Thank you for the heart. So thank you. I will be back. Have your Bibles ready. Stop coming on my live streams and y'all don't have the Bibles right there. I want you to, that's another thing I want to promote besides voting. I want to promote the fact that you yourself should have a Bible. OK, I know you're not using the phone to look up the scriptures. I'll be telling you to look up because you be on. Because you be on the phone with me. Anna, let me read your thing before I go anywhere. Um, God bless you. Well. Well, well. Um. Okay. Um, you know, some people are really serious and I know that people want me like, that's not the first time I've heard the woman. Um, 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 well, you know what, you know what, um, Anna, oh, I'm going to, this nigga's going to get me in trouble. We talk it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me say this to you. Um, get your Bibles out. I'm, I would address what, what Anna said. I have things going on. It's Listen, I'm happy right now in my life. And I, you know, if a message comes up and it makes me, me laugh a little bit, okay. Um, laughter is like medicine to the soul and it's good for you. When I come back on, I will be talking to you all about the topic that God told me to talk to you about. You will be alive at nine o'clock. And you will be here. Not to all of my other babies. Not to everybody who loves me. You know what I mean? I love y'all too. But I have a man right now. And if you can't deal with the fact that I have a man, I understand that. 
but I do have one. I happen to have a man that makes me smile and makes me laugh. I happen to have a man who knows how to make me smile. So if I smile, <laughs> what? it's because I have a man. So, and, and last time I checked in the Bible, you know, I'm, I, 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 let me just be quiet because I don't want to get in trouble with my man. Okay. But last time I checked in the Bible, my husband does come first. Okay. So, so, uh, huh? I, I, did, did, did you feel that? Did you, <laughs> Deja, you said, whoo. Yes, he does. He comes first. And my husband does not go side mode for anybody. So if he wants to say something to me during my live stream and it makes me laugh, then I'm going to laugh. And I'm also going to let my baby know that I see him and that I hear what he's saying. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I'm going to have to lay next to that man. And I'm going to have to be with him for the rest of my life. And although this is my ministry and I do what I do, my first responsibility is to my man. So I'm sorry, honey. Okay, I'll be back after this so everybody else who comes on here and can deal with the fact that i laughed a little bit all right all right thank you for the hearts <laughs> thank you for the hearts i'll be back had just throw it out there you, you, you know what i'm saying had just throw it out there so let me go because i don't want to get in no trouble but i love you all so much let's all stay positive and let's just do what it takes to be positive positive. and i pray to god that that woman named anna that she really does get a man and that she does something to get herself in position to respect that man when he shows up. It's very important that you really do respect the prophetess because although I'm smiling and although I'm laughing, I am a woman of God and I do have power and authority. And out of my mouth, I can bless you. So if your problem is the fact that you want to be happy, you want to laugh, you want a man, then just let me make sure that mine is happy and I'm happy and then I can make sure that you're blessed with yours team up what it do okay i see you guys at nine o'clock you be blessed with that